Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Iron Man. We're back! It's been a long while, hasn't it? Um, and yeah, before I get uh, too ahead of myself, uh, this sucks to say, but I, I may have deleted all of my RuneScape clips. I mean, I wasn't really planning on playing, and yeah, we can see how that turned out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and there's no way of me getting them back without going back to like a restore point or something, and yeah, I'd rather not do that. So I actually did play a little bit uh, since the last episode, and of course those clips are gone. And I thought it would be appropriate to uh, reenact uh, one of the cool things that happened. Because obviously I don't have the footage. Oh my god, is that the pet? Yo! I just got the beaver! I'll take that, let's check out my woodcutting XP, we're at... 26.6 million woodcutting XP. Isn't that lovely? But in all seriousness, I actually did end up getting the beaver, as you can see, which was pretty cool. Sucks I don't actually have the live reaction, but yeah, I was very excited to hit this. I think in that clip I mentioned uh, I was going to go for 200 mil, because I don't really have anything else to AFK. Uh, the only other skilling pets I'm missing are Thieving and I believe the Hunter pets, which uh, neither of them are very AFK. So, um, yeah, we're almost going to hit 30 million woodcutting. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll just continue as I go along. Um... Maybe I can get the motivation to jump on Thieving or Hunter uh, for the remaining skilling pets. Moving on from that, though, the bulk of what I was working on um, since the last video was actually Sarachnus. So right here. Uh, I got up to 860 kills, so that's a lot of kills to just lose. But I do have the loot still tracked, uh, if I recall. Um, but we ended up getting a Sarachnus Cudgel, so let it be known <laughs> that's over. But we still need to get the jar and the pet for full completion. And yeah, the, the main goal was to get a thousand kills, which were very close, and I may as well get that. And I was saving up all the clue scrolls so we could do a big clue scroll opening at the end of the video. So obviously the pacing's all screwed in this video, but uh, we're gonna go finish that and then open up the clues and be on our merry way. So, Sarachnus, uh, yeah, considering I have no clips of this, I may as well just go through the gear that I use. I, I do use this stuff. I get a lot of questions on the Elite Void Robe bottoms. So if you're unaware, they are better mage defense than black dehyde chaps. Uh, but they also provide a bit of prayer and a bit more melee defense, I believe. Uh, if you're going for straight mage defense, uh, Carol's is better. But I think at Sarachnus, prayer is better. So that is why I bring that. And then the halberd I have found is the best spec weapon here uh, between the SGS, BGS, whatever. I just find this to be the best. And then, of course, my bludgeon. And Butteheart just gives me more mage defense as well uh, throughout the fight. So... Very simple boss. I may as well record, I kind of forgot. 900 kills at the boss. Technically 901 now, but we're, we're nearing the end. Only 99 left. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot. Like, I did explain, like, how I do this boss and, like, the kills per hour and everything, but... Uh, too lazy to re-record that stuff. All you need to know is, like, with the bludgeon and stuff, I think if I pay attention, it's, like... 35? Going on 40 kills an hour? It's not, it's not too bad. But it ends up being a lot longer than that because, you know, I do so many freaking clues here. The main thing about this boss is that uh, hard clues are 1 in 40 and elites are 1 in 60. So you do end up getting a lot of clue scrolls here, which is beautiful. We're on the final stretch. Uh, 27 more to go. Only a couple more trips. Let's get her done. And at long last, 1,000 Seracnus kills. And I get a ex... Uh, uh, can't talk. Jesus. Can't talk on the final clip. And we get an egg sack to finish it off. That is nice, but uh, that was a long time coming. I started this grind <laughs> early June, <laughs> so it's been a long time. A lot of just not playing the game to finish this. <laughs> so, but it's good to, a good feeling to be done. And I will say, a partially why it took so long is I was getting so lucky on the clue scrolls. Now we ended up with 29 hards, 27 elites. That's kind of crazy because. In this kill count, you would expect, on average, 25 hards and about 16 elites. So I went a little overboard. So it took a very long time to finish these. But now we get to open these and have a lot of fun. It's going to be so many masters. So yeah, a lot of the reason why I did this was the clues. But um, the primary motivator were these egg sacks. So if I... Because I lost my clips. I guess I never explained it. But um, Seracnus drops these egg sacks, which are 100... Red spider eggs, which are, you know, the, the classic uh, herb lore ingredient for super restores. Um, it actually kind of worked out because I have 4,000 Snapdragon potions and about 600 of these. So 4,700 needed. 
and this will be 4,700, so it definitely worked out. I was kind of unlucky a little bit because it's um, 1 in 20, so you'd expect about 50. So, oh well, not a big deal. Uh, I'll take the extra clues over that. Uh, you also get these, like, temple pages that, um, or sorry, uh, just pages, I guess. Um, you also get these grubby keys, which we'll be opening very soon, but uh, I'm kind of impatient. I want to do these clues, but first I probably should show you guys my loot tab thingy. Thankfully, Runelight saved this the whole time. The, uh, the loot's pretty decent. You get a lot of, um, a lot of gems, a lot of runes, a lot of ore. Overall, I think it's a pretty good boss for supplies on an Iron Man. But yeah, that was a really fun excursion. It just was kind of lame that it took me almost like a month and a half to finish. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, like I said, I I probably should do like the, the keys and stuff first, but I'm, I'm impatient. Let's, uh, let's get these clues going. Um, so we're going to be opening these and then doing the masters as we go. It's going to be a lot of them. So it's going to be a long opening. I probably, it's been a long time, so I may as well just preface this. Uh, the main thing we're looking for are anything really cool, obviously. But I'm still missing after... Let me let me show you guys my, like, clue counts before we start this. So these are our clue counts on screen. So we're almost 500 hard clues, 177 elites. So, yeah, we're going to be over 500 and over 200, respectively. Um, the main thing I want is a black dragon mask from these hard clues. I'm still missing it. I need it for Masters, and after 500, please just give me it. So, if I get that, I don't care about anything else. That's all I want. So, let's get the opening going. Sorry, I'm kind of just stalling at this point, but this is important. Just for the sake of transparency, uh, we are at 91 items on the Collection Log for Hards, uh, 26 for Elites, and 8 on Masters. So, I'm going to write that down so we have it for later. Um, and I did forget. Uh, on top of the Black Dragon Mask that I'm missing uh, right here, <laughs> I'm also missing the Bandos Plate Body. So please, after 500 clues, can we get it? Uh, I'm going to write it on this notebook. This was the notebook to learn Korean. Just going to put this on the floor. Until further notice. Weeb book, yes. All right. First hard clue. Going in. <laughs> Master right away. Yo. <laughs> That was quick. All right. Like I said, this is going to be a very long opening. <laughs> All right, back to opening. <laughs> Watch me get another one right away. <laughs> oh, my God. There's actually no way. All right, well, 500 clues and the second master in a row. What the shit? All right, we did, we did the master. I swear to God. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to flip if we get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back masters, I swear. And, no, okay. Awful, awful clue to, to start off the opening again. Uh, nothing. We're, so many black DI chaps, dude. We got four. <laughs> oh, my God. What are these clues? Oh, oh. That might be a new helmet. I don't know. Don't really need them, I suppose. But it's not looking too good, guys. It's not looking too good. Nothing there. Oh my, these are just... I feel like I have that already. Um, Bandos, is that new? We'll see. I don't think so. Nope, that is number three. Unfortunate. And then the stole, I think, is probably not new either. Yeah, not new either. Uh, Zami Koif, I'm pretty sure the only one I'm missing is Sarah Doman? Yeah, Sarah Doman Koif is the only one I'm missing. Unfortunate yet again. <laughs> Come on, I, I could feel the Black Dragon Mask coming. Where is it? Ooh, Guthix Plate Legs, actually. Is that new? Might be. It might just be new. We'll figure all this out at the end, but... It's just kind of cool to get... Ooh, double page clue? I'll take that. Uh, another Zami Koif. Wow. Another one of those uh, Bucket Helms as well. Armadal Chaps, I'm pretty sure I have that. Oh, these are uh, interesting. Interesting, to say the least. No, I fucking banked all my gear. Damn it. Ooh, it's nearing the end of the hard clues, guys. Bandos Play Party! There we go. Yep, alright. I'm happy. One of the two items I was missing from hard clues... Took 522. Holy moly. Bando's play body. Knocked out. Um, 
You technically need two of them. One for the clue uh, for Masters, and then one for, like, the set in your house, I suppose. But, yeah, one is all I need for that. Two more to go. And... Done. Unfortunate. But I will take the Band of Spade Body all day. That was definitely worth the opening, for sure. Weirdly enough, we got the Masters on the first two, and then none for the rest. So it kind of averaged out. We got pretty pretty average amount of Masters from these cards. It's kind of weird. Another set of good news, uh, this Rune Helm H4 is actually the last bucket helm that I was missing for my hard clues. Uh, as you can see, I have all five now. Very cool. Now, this plate body is for a clue step for Masters, which is, I think it's Bando's plate body, BGS, and Bando's cloak. Now, where that that's the issue, because I did 400 mediums already, going for the Rangers and whatnot. Um, and guess what? The only cloak that I'm missing is Bandos, of course. So um, I technically still can't do that clue step. So we're going to have to go and jump on mediums again. Maybe I could do a, a medium clue grind video again. Uh, I think it'd be kind of fun revisiting that stuff. But at least we got this one out of the way. Okay, now we're on to the elite clues. We have 27 of them. Um, so on average, I should snag five masters. Hopefully we can get more. Kind of disappointed that I didn't get more on the uh, hards, but as for like actual uniques, um, they're just going to be for fun. I don't think I need any uh, for any practical uses, but hopefully we can snag something good. Crossing my fingers for some Gilded or Third Age. And first clue is pretty standard. More standard loot. as you. Do. They're actually really good values for elites, I will say. I will take that. And a master clue number three. Off we go. Two of my cryptic steps are in the same area. Well, that's convenient. Back at it again. All right. Looking pretty normal. Ooh, which oh, we just need to see uniques, Jagex, please. It's not that difficult. I mean, I guess it is difficult. <laughs> not look... Ooh, giant boot. Now that is the reason we did this grind. Can you wear it? You can, oh, it's on your head. That's right. Okay. Um, Cool? <laughs> I don't think that's new. I mean, it might be, actually. Kind of does look new. Oh! Dragon Chain Body Ornament Kit. I believe that's new. Please tell me. Dragon, dragon Kits are, like, my favorite thing in this game. So, that is awesome. And we get a Master. So, can't argue with that. Let's see if this is new. I, I want to say... It is! Yes! More for the Dragon Collection. Oh, it makes it look so good. Look at this! God, it looks awful on female characters. But let's go. Another another ornament kit. Uh, as you can see, we have the dragon scimitar. We have the dragon boots. So still a lot to do. And that's a huge motivator for my elites. But we will take it. And yes, the giant boot was new. 13 left. And we open once more. Oh, what a gross clue. <laughs> that was kind of gross. Ah, another master, right? Back to the old grind. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, I cannot do this step because I do not have a Bandos cloak. And uh, as much as it sucks to drop, I am not about to do a medium clue grind just yet. I will be doing it soon, though. I just want to get through this clue opening. Ooh, double unique. And I'm pretty sure I have both of these. Fuck. <laughs> cool to see, though. Cool to see. Ooh, heavy cask. Okay, so 200 clues. There we go. I totally forgot you get an item for it. I'm like, yo, this is cool. All right. <laughs> A little anticlimactic, I guess. But 200 elites is done. Very nice. I still need to finish, like, the, I guess, milestones for clues. Uh, I don't know which ones I'm missing right now, but... And the final one is... I mean, we, we did get a couple uniques. I mean, the biggest thing is that we got the Band of Spate Body from the hearts. So I will take that. But honestly, a little underwhelming for what I got. I, I will say a pretty underwhelming. And unfortunately, we only got four Masters plus the one we dropped. So only five Master drops in all of our clues. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I was pretty unlucky on that. So hopefully these Masters can uh, make up for it. Standard. Oh, 50 masters, though. That's kind of nice. Looking good. And the two magic seeds. We've gotten a lot of magic seeds today. And another seed. And finally... Wow. Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing. 
Well, besides uh, not getting like incredible luck on these clues, uh, we did add two uh, items to the hard clue log. Uh, we added two to the elites and a fat zero for the masters. So even though this took a long while, it really did. It was fun. And uh, I mean, it wasn't just about the clues. We did get the Seracnus finished uh, up to the 1K. My clue count went way higher. We're over 500 hards, over 200 elites, over 50 masters. Can't be mad about that. Uh, for anyone interested, here are the total loots from each of the clues. So, as you can see, I mean, if you add them all together, I made about 10 mil in loot. So, not too bad, I guess. But, yeah, moving away from the clue scrolls now, um, let's go open these grubby keys. Uh, the opening isn't going to be super interesting, but you do get some nice, like, supply drops. It's mainly for the food, because, uh, like, they're designed to basically you open them during a trip, and then you can have a longer trip from the food that you get, but... I don't think that's as interesting, so uh, I wanted to open them all in one go. See what we end up with. I'm mainly looking for law runes, because I do want a lot more of those. All right, well, we opened up the grubby chest 62 times with all my keys, and uh, I honestly couldn't be bothered to take, keep track of the, uh, like, supply loot. But here we go for, like, the, the rewards, I guess. So it's all right. Of course, Law Runes were the least likely for me. That kind of blows because I wanted them the most. But I can't complain about that many Bloods and Deaths. I'll always take that. And uh, you get a decent amount of herbs. But yeah, again, this, this chest is mainly for just to like resupply you during the runs. And uh, not really for the actual loot. And the final thing about Seracnus is these pages. I briefly mentioned them, but they're needed for the mini quest In Search of Knowledge. So I believe you need four of each of these pages, which you can get from really any of the creatures in the dungeon. Seracnus just has a good drop rate. Yeah, I just have to heal this guy with some food and then basically, like, get some books or something. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, well, um... <laughs> so, for the last, like, five minutes, I, re I just realized I wasn't recording. Fuck. You get tomes in the dungeon. You fill the tomes with the pages. You give the tomes to Lagosia in the Arceus Library. She gives you a lamp for 10,000 XP. Uh, for any skill above 40, so it's actually pretty good early on, especially because the pages aren't very difficult to get, and then you can give excess pages for a thousand coins each, so that's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at keeping recordings, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, that's the mini quest done. I just kind of put it off, never really ended up doing it. There's actually a couple more mini quests I gotta knock out, but we're gonna worry about that later. Um, as for Seracnus, though, we're, we're done. We got through the eggs, we did the clues, we did the keys, the pages... Uh, and then we just kind of uh, have to deal with all the other loot. But yeah, we can actually make the spider eggs into the super stores. We're going to have so many. Get a nice chunk of herbal as well. So that's the next thing we're going to be doing. Well, we finished the potions. Uh, got up to 5,000 super stores, 1,300 range pots, and like 1,400 magic potions. Don't really care about the magic potions. And decanted, uh, that'll be 4,000 super restores added to my stack, which I already had uh, another 1,000. So... Yeah, we're going to be sitting real good for superstores and brews especially. Definitely don't need to worry about these like anymore. Not the greatest on prayer pots, I would say. But if I do go and get the thieving pet eventually, I'll probably do it at Master Farmers, which will get me plenty of prayer pots. But yeah, as for the next video, um, I have some interesting plans. Uh, I've taken some of the feedback from my uh, coming back video and... Uh, I'm going to go for some fun goals, and we'll discuss that in the next video. Basically, I'm going to try to find things to do uh, in this post-max game. So, we're going to leave it until then. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, check out my live stream over on Twitch. I am live all the time now. At least I'm trying to be. Either way, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.